This is 7 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Erica Bivens. A Ragley woman is dead after she was struck by a vehicle Friday night. State police say 68-year-old Henry Edwards was traveling north on Highway 171 at Felice Cutoff Road in Ragley when he struck 45-year-old Emma Ryder, who was standing in the road. Authorities say Ryder was thrown into a ditch and died at the scene. The driver of the vehicle was not injured. A toxicology test is pending. The incident remains under investigation. Well, at least 10 children were killed in the attacks in Nice and many more injured. Atika Schubert visits a hospital where some of them are still fighting for their lives while others are struggling to grasp the horrors they witnessed. It was supposed to be a family event. Fireworks, cotton candy, stuffed toys. And that is why so many of the victims were children. 16-year-old Kimberly Torres was separated from her mother in the chaos. I didn't understand what was happening, she told us. I saw the truck and I went closer and then I saw everyone lying on the ground. I started running because everyone else was running too, but I still didn't understand. She can't finish talking to us. She starts to cry. And then her mother says, she's going to be 17 soon. And she called me and she said, Mommy, there are dead people everywhere. There are severed heads, dismembered legs, blood. Mommy, come get me, she said. So I left in a panic to look for her. And I tried to stay strong. I didn't want to cry in front of her. But I just can't hold back anymore. Her leg was injured in the stampede to escape, but she was lucky. At least three children remain in critical care, one still unidentified. In all, some 50 children were brought here. For many, their parents have not been found. Now, this is the promenade where the attack happened. And as you can see, people have been leaving flowers here all day. The truck actually started its attack right around the bend there. And the closest hospital to the scene is the Longval Children's Hospital right there. Doctors told us they rushed in expecting many of the wounded to be brought in, but they had no idea just how many of those wounded would be children. These were not the wounds we saw in Brussels or Paris, says Dr. Christian. These were massive blunt trauma injuries, run over, crushed beneath the truck. Something you would see in a car crash, but to have 50 children brought in from a car accident all at once is very, very rare. Dozens of children are still in this hospital, barely able to grasp the trauma that will remain with them for the rest of their lives. Atika Schubert, CNN, Nice, France. Well, back here at home, one pastor is trying to inspire his community to stay strong in times of violence and hate. Hoping to continue a message of hope, KPLC's Caitlin Rust has more on this call to prayer. With our nation wrapped up in protest, one pastor's mission is to fight that protest with prayer. Members of the faith community in and around DeRitter gathered this morning at West Park to pray for peace. Like many other churches, the Green Oak Baptist Church has become frustrated with the state that our nation is in. Pastor Ben Derrick says the country has lost sight of the one person that matters the most. Our hope's in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's who we're placing our hope and our faith in uh, to come and help us uh, during this times of trouble. Various pastors from all over the area each led a prayer aimed at different groups in the community and in the nation. Coming up on 7 News Nightcast, I'll have more on this call to prayer. At your service in DeRitter, Caitlin Russ, KPLC, 7 News. Well, organizers are setting up for the third annual Roll with the Wind Sunset 5K. Hosted by Ansley's Angels, the event is set to begin shortly at the Lake Charles Civic Center. That's where KPLC's Liz Coe joins us live with a preview. Erica, participants are checking in and getting ready for the race tonight. Now joining me now is Ainsley's Angels co-founder, Christine Seward, to tell us a little bit about the race. Now, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Of course. Can you tell us what this race is about? What's the purpose of it? Ainsley's Angels is a nonprofit organization. We allow individuals with disabilities to participate in road races such as 5K races. Um, we get together and we join up and we become a team and we promote inclusion throughout the United States. And tell me, how many participants are taking part this 
this year. Today we have a record of over 60 rider athletes, which is absolutely phenomenal. We have over 450 individuals who actually registered run in person today with us. Now, is it too late? I know the race starts in about what, an hour and 40 minutes, but tell us, is it too late to register? No, registration will remain open until 7 p.m. Uh, we encourage people to register. I'm not sure if online registration is still open, but they can come to the amphitheater and they can register here. It's $30. It includes a bracelet to our finish festival. We have lots of good food, a t-shirt, and a finisher's medal. Awesome. And of course, uh, you can come for food and fun even if you're not participating in the rain. Absolutely. We love to have cheerleaders on the course, spectators. If you live on Shell Beach Drive, get your water hose. Spray says we're coming by. So. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much for joining us, Christine. Of course, I'll have highlights tonight at 10, but the opening ceremony begins at 7 o'clock and the race starts at 7.40. At your service, live in Lake Charles, Liz Coe, KPLC 7 News. Thanks, Liz. Well, downtown Lake Charles went to the dogs this morning. Dogs and their humans celebrated the official opening of Bark Dulac, the newest downtown dog park at the corner of Ann and Mill Street. Complete with pet sketches and a tour, the grounds include benches, tables, a water fountain for humans and their four-legged friends, as well as a fence divider separating large from small dogs. City officials cut the ribbon today during a ceremony. Mayor Randy Roach says the park was made possible through a public-private partnership. In the beginning, we, when we talked about uh, getting a dog park downtown, we knew we had a spot. We had a place to put the dog park. We just said, well, how are we going to pay for it? And uh, Quality of Life Task Force came up with a proposal, basically. They would try to raise about half the money, and then we'd provide the land and provide uh, matching funds, and then that way we'd have the park put together. The Quality of Life Task Force raised about $32,000. The city matched with $30,000. And overall, a pretty good turnout there despite the downpour. The dogs were kind of like, they were, they were breathing they were struggling hard, to breathe, you know. I think they're dealing with the heat just like we're dealing with the heat. And like you said, the downpour, I think it came just after that or right during that ceremony. But we did have a lot of those downpours around the area today. Let me show you a look at Storm Vision HD because there's still a few. And basically, you've seen what's happened over the past, say, two hours. We have seen the storms disappear very quickly from radar, but we're going to zoom into some spots because the latest storm was right over central Beauregard Parish. It was storming right along Highway 27 through Singer. Now that's all that's left over is some showers at this time. That storm has weakened considerably, and that's what happens. They pull, they blossom up, they blow up over your head, they pour on you, and then they're basically over within an hour. Lake Charles, it's been quiet since about, say, noon or 1 o'clock, but we are tracking these showers moving in out of Lafayette, but I think we have too many clouds outside of I think those are going to probably fall apart. Look at that look out of our Derrida sky cam. Lots of clouds, rain cooled as more storms in the forecast for Sunday. I'll let you know in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks a lot, Zach. Well, indoors, dancing and eating carried on today at the Burton Coliseum. <laughs> The 29th annual Cajun Music and Food Festival is still underway until 11 o'clock this evening. Everything from raffles and Cajun food like gumbo and jambalaya to an entire table full of desserts helps serve as a fundraiser for the Cajun French Music Association. The two-day event draws locals and visitors alike. We thought about, you know, having our family reunion here. We weren't sure about what were the activities here in Lake Charles, and so I downloaded the uh, Lake Charles app. And so as a result, we decided, well, let's check out the festival while we're here. Vendors and a number of arts and crafts were also set up inside. Admission is $8. Kids 12 and under are free. You can view a full schedule at kplctv.com. Well, rain didn't stop the Unitech Training Academy from holding their Summerfest today. Summerfest allows people to come out and enjoy a day full of fun. Guests could enjoy snow cones and other delicious food, face painting, and kitty rides. The event benefits the Four Paws Society of Lake Charles, which brought along puppies for guests to spend some time with. Unitech wants this event to be about helping the Lake Charles community. This to benefit Lake Charles. We want everyone to know that Unitech is all about the community. And so what better way than to, to help out the families who don't have a lot of their kids to do at this time of year. 
Meanwhile, Moscow graduates say their final farewells to each other in the community's biggest reunion this weekend. Graduates and previous residents from across the country came out to the event to reconnect and enjoy each other's company for their last reunion. Now, this year's theme was a journey home, a walk-in generational blessing. Today was the family fun day where attendees and their families came out to have some fun together. Alice Porter Belton came all the way from California to enjoy her final Mossville reunion. I have come to all of the reunions that we have so far during the years, and this is the final one, which is bittersweet because it's good to see everybody that I haven't seen in a long time, but it's also sad that we may not see each other again for a very, very long time. Hopefully they had a nice turnout there. Still to come, T-Mobile announces a sweet deal for Pokemon Go fans. The story right after this. I play where I can play longer. I've been to those bigger casinos, but who's playing who? Where do you play? Get a weather forecast that's hour by hour, anywhere, anytime, created exclusively for you. With the KPLC Personal Forecast, you'll never be caught off guard again. The Seven Storm Team Personal Forecast is sponsored by Lakeside Bank. Get a weather forecast that's hour by hour, anywhere, anytime, created exclusively for you. With the KPLC Personal Forecast, you'll never be caught off guard again. Sponsored by Highway Ford on 171 in DeRitter. Buckle up, honey, for my first ever Popeye's five buck wing bash. My amazing Popeye's chicken now in a boneless wing. Six wings, a side, and a biscuit for just five bucks. This is your famous chicken in a boneless wing? It is. Oh, that is big news. She's in. How about you? It's everything you love about my chicken in a boneless wing. Six big wings, a side, and a biscuit for just five bucks. That's boneless wings, y'all. Excuse me. We got someone's attention. Love that chicken for Popeye's. Jury Awards plaintiff? $17 million. One of the largest verdicts in the country that year. Against some of the biggest companies in the world. That verdict will always have a place in my heart. Because of the people involved. The jury. My client. Baggett McCall. We represent injured victims. With experience. Know-how. But most of all, with our passion. And our heart. If you've been injured, remember. Choose your lawyer carefully. with the slots are jumping, the music's thumping, and my fists are pumping. Yeah, I'll keep that cat coming and coming. Oh, baby. Donald Trump today formally introduced Mike Pence as his running mate, saying they can pull together the Republican Party, provide jobs, fight terrorism, and beat Hillary Clinton. Steve Handelsman has details and reaction from Cleveland, where delegates are gathering for the GOP convention. Donald Trump said Indiana Governor Mike Pence was his first choice to unite the Republican Party. Mike Pence is a man of honor, character, and honesty. Who Trump said put Hoosiers back to work. The turnaround and the strength of Indiana has been incredible. In fact, the recovery of Pence's state was typical. But unlike Trump, Pence is a favorite of family values Republicans. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. Pence said yes to Trump on Wednesday. America needs to be strong for the world to be safe. On the world stage, Donald Trump will lead from strength. After the terror attacks in France and in the U.S., Trump pledged his ticket has a mission. We are the law and order candidates. And with the law and order party, we're going to change things around. The wrong changes warned Hillary Clinton. Bad for the economy, she said, women, immigrants, and literally the planet. At the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame today, Republicans in Cleveland for the convention accepted Trump's pick to join his band. Mike Pence is a conservative, and some of the conservative base, I believe, has been skeptical. Here in Cleveland last night, Trump won a key battle against the never-Trump forces. A vote requiring Trump delegates to vote Trump on the first ballot, even if they now want someone else. A virtual guarantee that Donald Trump and Mike Pence will be the GOP nominees. I'm Steve Hanley, NBC News. 
Well, ready to assemble furniture maker IKEA is recalling 80,000 baby gates. This week, the Consumer Product Safety Commission said the gates can unlock by themselves and lead to falls. Ten injuries have been reported, including two concussions, according to the CPSC. The recalled gates include the following. The Patrol Safety Gate and Extension, Fast Safety Gate, and Clama Safety Gate and Extension. IKEA advised customers to stop using them and return them for a full refund. Well, Pokemon Go fans, this one's for you. T-Mobile is giving away a full year of free Pokemon Go data through August 2017. Now, in order to get it, you must claim the offer by August 9th through the T-Mobile Tuesdays app. You can also get some other freebies, including free lift rides, up to $15 to get a new poke stop or gym, a free Wendy's Frosty, and a handful of winners will get a free trip anywhere in the U.S. for themselves and a guest to go Pokemon hunting. So I guess it pays to play. Maybe uh, gotta catch them all in between the rainfall. Though, I today, think huh? they pay attention to what's going on in the world. <laughs> I think they're kind of driving towards Pokemon Go. That's everything right now. Mm -hmm. And if you're going out there to find some Pokemon, well, at least you got Ansley's angel, angels out there at the lakefront right now. We can take a look at that sky cam. There you go. They're getting set for the race. And maybe you're going out there just to catch Pokemon. Well, I'll have your forecast coming up after the break. Technology is a living thing. It listens to us. How may I help you? It shows us the way. It expands our minds and gives us vision where once we had none. This is how civilization moves forward. This is how we get coffee. The 2016 Corolla. Technology on a whole other level. Right now, get $1,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a stylish new 2016 Corolla. Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome. It's me, the Extra Crispy Colonel. My Extra Crispy $20 Philip feeds a family of four. It's crunchy, juicy, and oh so tasty. KFC, it's Extra Crispy Good. Get a weather forecast that's hour by hour, anywhere, anytime, created exclusively for you. With the KPLC Personal Forecast, you'll never be caught off guard again. Sponsored by Home Building Materials. Get a weather forecast that's hour by hour, anywhere, anytime, created exclusively for you. With the KPLC Personal Forecast, you'll never be caught off guard again. Sponsored by Home Furniture. Being a former student athlete from McNeese and having played two sports for Sulphur High, I know how important the right physical therapy was for me. And since I returned home to operate Southwest Louisiana Sports and Rehab Center in Sulphur, I can now provide young athletes with the sports therapy they need and senior patients with specialized advanced care. We use Southwest Sports and Rehab. Go where the pros go. To Rand Prince and the home team at Southwest Louisiana Sports and Rehab Center in Sulphur. Family is everything. Here at Stonebridge, we couldn't agree more. Designed to meet the personalized and supportive care needs of your family, here at Stonebridge, we make the transition comfortable. Our 24-hour staff develops close and personal relationships with our residents and families. With self-decorated rooms, the beauty salon, ice cream parlor, and private family kitchen, our residents feel right at home here at Stonebridge. When the day comes that your loved one may need assisted living, visit us here at Stonebridge, where we're family. Cynthia Arsino and Jillian Quarter, KPLC 7 News at 6. The 7 Storm Team Sky Cam Network is sponsored by Billy Navarre. With quick service and low prices, we challenge any dealer in America to beat. The 7 Storm Team Personal Forecast is sponsored by Home Building Materials, Home Furniture, Mazda of Lake Charles, and Lakeside Bank. From the 7 Storm Team, your first alert weather with meteorologist Zach Fradella. If I had to summarize today, I would say it was a usual summer day across southwest Louisiana. You can look at Storm Vision HD. There's not much rain out there right now. And there was a lot more, say, about, about two hours ago. That's when we had a lot of storms. And really, throughout the afternoon hours, the usual summertime kind of played out. The latest storm was right across central Beauregard Parish. But this is what those storms do. They blow up. They get real intense. They pour on you. 
and then they're just nothing. Just some leftover showers in and around Singer, and they're not going to reform. So don't expect any heavy thunderstorm activity for the rest of the evening if you're in Beauregard Parish. Coming down south along I-10, we're, say, west of Lake Charles from Sulphur to Carlos. We had one downpour that developed just on the south side of the interstate, right just south of Carlos, between Sulphur and Carlos, but it quickly kind of dissipated. You see this line of green? It's one of those outflow boundaries that's coming down from those storms to the north. That's pushing south, but we already have too much clouds across southwest Louisiana that I think I don't think we're going to form, say, more thunderstorms from here through sunset. Once sunset hits, we're definitely not going to see any rain after that. We were tracking these big storms out of the Atchafalaya Basin, moved across Lafayette, but again, we have all of these clouds over here, so it's cooler over here, and as they're pushing into those clouds, what happens? Well, you can see they're just sort of falling apart. You also see the outflow boundary moving through Crowley, so you might have a gust of wind coming if you're in Jennings or all along I-10, but I just don't see us really redeveloping any heavy thunderstorms. Could pop a shower or two, but I think the heavy thunderstorms are done for your Saturday. Here's a look out of our Lake Charles Sky Cam, and there's Ansley's Angels getting ready for that run right along Shell Beach Drive right at sunset. They've timed it out perfectly that they shouldn't have any weather issues other than you need to drink a lot of water because even though many spots are rain-cooled at this time, it's still fairly warm out there, and we have a lot of humidity, so it feels a lot worse than the 84 with Teresa Lines and Lake Arthur, and also Fay at Oakdale at 76. Jackie True at Moss Bluff coming in at 83 degrees. Here's visible satellite. Like I said, we have all of these clouds because when the storms tower up, they push all those high-level clouds out, and that's what kind of eliminates our chances for rain during the evening hours, and especially once the sun goes down, that's when they really go down. But here's visible satellite showing what's going on to our west. There's barely a cloud in portions of Texas. That worries me because that's a sign of what's going to come as we go into the new work week. Not so much for Sunday. I think Sunday we're going to keep the same normal summertime pattern, about a 40% coverage. There will be storms around, especially, say, from about 10 a.m. till about, say, 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when the chance for rain will be highest. And then we'll kind of do it all over again Monday, but we'll start to see those rain chances go down. And then Tuesday onward, get ready. The heat ridge, as we call it, is coming right back. Here's that seven days showing you there's those better rain chances for Sunday and Monday. And again, this is the wrong seven days, so ignore this. This is going to be nothing. We're not going to have any rain between Tuesday and Thursday. There will be a shower or two, and those highs are way off because when we lose the rain, we will certainly send those highs up. I think Tuesday through Thursday, we're probably talking 95 or 96 during the afternoon hours. So again, like I usually will do, if you stay tuned for a few more minutes, I will show you the real seven day at the end of the newscast. Just uh, keep that umbrella handy, huh? And, uh, for the next two days. Okay. Rain and hot weather. There we go. That's what they need to know. Summertime Summer. usuals. All right. Well, turning over to sports, Mike, what do you have coming up? Well, football, it's getting closer in SEC media days in Hoover, Alabama, wrapped up this week. We'll take you there. Plus, Alex Bregman continuing his tear in the minors. We'll hear from him as he's back in Louisiana this week, taking on the New Orleans Zephyrs tonight. That's all coming up next in sports. The Weather Watcher Network is sponsored by Mark Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. $5 Sonic Boombox gives you a lot for $5. Yeah, and Abraham Lincoln would be really proud of this. Right. Oh, because he's on the $5 bill. That's exactly where I was going with that, actually. Yeah. yeah. And he was an honest guy, and this is an honest deal. Yeah. And he created the Boombox. Oh, no. You were so close. Yeah. My fellow countrymen, are you ready to get funky? Play. Try the Loaded Cheddar Dogs, part of the new $5 Sonic Boombox, featuring a hot dog, junior cheeseburger, side, and a drink. This is how you Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I like this right here. The Ford Freedom Sales Event is on, and Zero for 72 is back on 2016 Ford Focus, Fusion, and Escape. Plus, specially tagged vehicles get an extra 1,000 smart bonus. That means freedom from interest and freedom to choose with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Right now, get 0% for 72 months on Focus, Fusion, and Escape. Plus, specially tagged vehicles get a 1,000 smart bonus cash only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. Golf Digest named Renaissance Ross Bridge Golf Resort and Spa and the Auburn Marriott Opelika Hotel at Grand National two of their 2016 Editor's Choice winners, along with Pebble Beach, the Greenbrier, and Pinehurst. And the best part about the trail is you don't have to break the bank to play world-class golf. This summer, play three rounds and get the fourth free on the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Visit rtjgolf.com or call 800-949-4444. Every student wants to look their best for the new school year, and they can find the latest uniform styles at Buy and Save. 
Now at Buy and Save, get three school uniform tops and three bottoms, sizes 4 to 7 for $39.99, and sizes 8 to 20 for $44.99. Save big on school uniforms. Get the three and three deal at both locations of Buy and Save. Shop for school uniforms now on sale at Buy and Save, Broad Street and Highway 14. Buy and Save, lower prices and better value. Want to know the best time to cast your line? Tune in weekday mornings to 7 News Sunrise for Ben Terry's Fishing Forecast. Sponsored by Henderson Implement and Marine. Right this minute. Unforgettable videos and the stories behind them. Shared every day. And it is amazing what they capture. Shareable moments. Shareable videos. Right this minute. Weekdays at 4 on KPLC. Make it a sunrise day. Weekdays with Brittany Glazer. Where local sports come first. Seven Sports with Mike Gaither. Good evening. This week, the SEC wrapped up their annual media days in Hoover, Alabama. And on Thursday afternoon, LSU was picked to finish second in the SEC West behind the national champion Alabama Crimson Tide. And Les Miles was asked the question, would this season be a bust without bringing home a national title? I, I want you to know something. You're not going to win the national championship in the first game. In the first game, we're going to play Wisconsin, and that's going to be a, a, a slug them. I mean, it's, they're a very, very quality football team. We're playing at Lambeau Field. I think first things first. Yeah, you, you're right. If, if, as, as, that's a, uh, it's certainly a great thing if you've got one game to play. I mean, our main focus is national championship. Any individual or for anybody on the team is going to come. So... I'm just focused on winning the national championship. And staying with LSU, former Bar Buck and LSU Tiger Trey Quinn recently opened up about his transfer to SMU. Quinn told NOLA.com, quote, I'm not the prototypical receiver that they're looking for, end quote. LSU signing class in February had three wide receivers measuring from 6'3 to 6'6. And Quinn spent just two years in Baton Rouge with the Tigers seeing sparse action. To this day, Quinn still holds the Louisiana record for caught passes in high school with 357 and set a national record with 6,566 passing yards during his four seasons at Barb High School. And heading over to the Saints now, who begin training camp later this month. Earlier this week, reports developed that New Orleans was interested in signing 35-year-old veteran wide receiver Anquan Bolden. The Saints, they have a young group of inexperienced wide receivers and looked into the possibility of adding the NFL veteran, but so far no offer has been put on the table. And back to baseball, former LSU Tiger Alex Bregman back in Louisiana this week in a four-game set versus the New Orleans Zephyrs. And so far in AAA, the MLB's top prospect continues to tear the cover off the baseball, hitting 378 in 10 games with Fresno. On Friday, the Astros signed a 32-year-old Cuban infielder, Ulieski Guerrero, who's a projected third baseman. But Bregman remains confident in his ability to play at the next level and says he'll play whatever position they need him to. Uh, I feel great. Um, I feel just as comfortable at third base as I do at shortstop. Um, I've been playing those two positions only this year so far, but I'll play whatever position they want me to play. And uh, if they say, hey, you grab a glove, go to left field, I'll go to left field. And uh, Just anything to help the team win and uh, just anything to contribute. There was reports earlier this week that the Astros would call him up, but the head coach, A.J. Hinch, said that's not true. But mm. if he keeps hitting the baseball like he's hitting right now, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if he gets that major league call up pretty pretty soon. Going to be a team player there, too. Well, coming up, we'll have a final check on the forecast. Stay with us. If the sounds of wedding bells are ringing in your future, let KPLCTV.com and the Diamond team at Diamond Durrell's help you find that perfect ring she'll cherish forever. Just go to the Lifestyles page at KPLCTV.com, click on Weddings, and follow it to the Diamond Team link. Our Diamond Team knows that when you choose to give someone a diamond, you're making a promise that will last a lifetime. Forever Mark and the Diamond Team makes a promise to you. You'll love your experience at Diamond Durrell's. KPLCTV.com and the Diamond Durrell's Diamond Team, your engagement ring specialist. Ainsley's Angels invites you to Roll with the Wind Saturday, July 16th for the third annual Sunset 5K. Join us as we spread our mission of inclusion and assist the special needs community. The three-mile run will take place as the sun sets over beautiful Lake Charles. After the run, stick around for a finisher's festival featuring your favorite Louisiana dishes, music, games, giveaways, and lots of smiles. To register, log on to AinsleysAngels.org or call 802-4181. 
The Cajun French Music Association invites you to the 29th Annual Cajun Music and Food Festival at the Burton Complex. July 15th and 16th, experience the best of Cajun culture with music, dancing, and great food. Shop handmade arts and crafts. Try your luck in a cakewalk or bid on your favorite auction item. Sunday morning, join us for a free Cajun Mass at the Cajun French Music Association building on East Prion Lake Road. Admission is just $8 and children under 12 get in free. Join us in Laissez le Bonton Roulet. Nestled under the historic Salye Oak, the Imperial Calcasieu Museum preserves our rich past and explores the future of visual art. Step back in time as you discover centuries of Imperial Calcasieu history. Then step into the Gibson Barham Gallery to experience the diverse works of contemporary and traditional artists. Branch Out Summer Arts Camp explores surrealism through drawing, painting, printmaking, and sculpture. Arts education and cultural preservation, the Imperial Calcasieu Museum. As promised, the correct seven day here. And you can see next two days we still have those normal summertime downpours and then the middle of next week looking very hot. Probably the hottest temperatures we've seen this summer. All right, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. As always, thanks for tuning in and have a great night. Get your news on the go. Download the free KPLC News and Weather apps.